Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. This is a tutorial specific for brine theme Squarespace websites. I'm going to show you how you can create a gradient overlay for brine index page banners. What we're going to do is use some custom CSS to create an overlay for both of the top and bottom images in my demo site, as well as isolating just the top one. The codes I'm using today are listed in the description beneath the video, but I'd love to take the time to show you how they work so you understand when you implement them on your own site what you're going to want to change to make it match the style for your own design. So let's hop into my demo site and see how these codes work. So here we are in my demo site, and you'll see I have one main banner image on the top, then a page with no banner image and another banner image on the bottom there. So we're gonna isolate those individually. Everything we're doing today is custom CSS. So I'm gonna click design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. So this is where we'll be pasting the code that's beneath the video. To isolate those banner images, we need to say index dash page dash dash has dash image. That's gonna isolate just that particular element, both this one on the top and the one on the bottom here. The next thing we're gonna do is open up a bracket and we're gonna say background linear dash gradient. Now I want my linear gradient to have one color on the top and one color on the bottom. We're gonna start with two solid colors and then we're gonna make it transparent for a lot of fun here, okay? So I'm just gonna add a solid black color, comma, and then a solid white color. And you'll see already we're just replacing the entire image with the solid black on the solid white in both sections. Not exactly what we're going for. We need to add a little bit of transparency here. So rather than using a hex color code, I'm gonna use what's known as an RGBA. That is a color code where I can adjust the transparency. So I'm gonna type RGBA, open up a bracket, and I'm just gonna say 000, zero, zero and then the last number, the last digit I add here is the level of opacity we're going with. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make that a solid zero. So it's gonna be completely transparent on the top, fading to a white at the bottom. So there's the top image and here's the bottom image. You'll see it's completely transparent at the top and it fades into that white. Well, that's great. I think that fade needs to be a little bit smoother. So I'm gonna add 80% here. There we go. And now we're just getting the fade at the very bottom. Pretty interesting, right? I have a whole host of information about creating more gradient codes like this one available for free at insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. So if you want some step by steps and getting into these gradient details and coming up with some creative ones, that's insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. But before we get there, let me tell you about how to isolate just the top banner. Because right now, this is happening to both banners on our site. What if we want just the top one or just the bottom one? So to isolate just this top one, we're going to use a pseudo element. Right after the name of the element and before that first bracket where we start our code, I'm gonna add the little colon symbol in the text nth-child, open up a parentheses, and place a one in there. That's saying just the first one. So check it out, we've got that gradient here, but if we scroll down, nothing is happening to our galaxy photo on the bottom, just the top one. So how do we isolate just the bottom one? We need to count how many pages down and change that number between those parentheses there. So this is page one, this is page two, this being the third page of our index, Let's change that to a three, and now the gradient is only applied to the bottom banner, not the top one. Now, if you have eight index pages, you're gonna need to change that number to eight to be the bottom one. If you have two index pages, change it to two to be the bottom. You get the idea. Regardless of what you do, just select save when you're done, and you'll be ready to rock. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Again, the code is listed in the description beneath the video. I also have a link there to take you to my free guide on gradients so you can create even more cool effects than just a simple transition to a solid white, okay? So go ahead and check out those links in the description and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.